Okay, now we're going to do module 15. It should be module 1. The objective for this module is divide decimals using place value understanding, including remainders in the smallest unit. Up to this point, we divided decimals, but we haven't had a remainder in the smallest unit, like the thousands. Essential question, what do I do with the extra pieces when I end up with remainders in the smallest unit? Okay, we're going to do 1A, and you're going to see that we haven't really done a lot different. So this this lesson is not going to do a whole lot different than what we've been doing. First thing we're doing, we're going to model, and we can see we have zero ones, we have seven tenths. So we're going to go ahead and put our seven tenths in there. There's four, five, six, seven. And it says we're dividing by four, so we're going to split this up into four equal groups. There's one, two, and the last two will be four. Now we're going to start with our tenths position, because that's the only position that has digits in right now. And we're going to split them up evenly. So we end up with one, two, three, four. And we cannot split the last three up evenly. Because we used four and we have three left. Now we're going to bring these three over, and we know that this is going to be 30, but I'm going to put 10 for a place value, 10 for a place value, and the last 10 I'm going to split up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I have brought over 30 hundredths. Now we're going to split them up evenly between the four groups, and we got 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and I know I cannot do the last two. So I was, I've was i been able to put out 28 of them. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I have two here that I have to regroup. So I'm going to regroup. One of them is a 10. The other one I'm going to break apart. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now I'm going to split them up to four groups because we have 20. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we can see we were able to use all 20 so it divided equally. So we're going to end up with an answer of 1 and 2, 4, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 5. So we know 7 tenths divided by 4 is going to be 1 and 75 hundredths. Now let's take a look at the standard algorithm. In the standard algorithm, I'm going to take a look at, I'm saying 4 will go into z 0, 0 times. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my decimal point up top. So, and I don't have to put a 0 up in here, but I can. Now, our next question is 4 will go into 7 one time. And then it's 1 times 4 is 4. And I'm going to subtract 7 minus 4 gives us 3. Now, I do not have another digit to bring down. But I know in fifth grade, we go out to the thousands position. So I do know I have an unlimited number of zeros to go behind here. So I'm going to go ahead and place a zero here this time, and I'm bringing that down. Now I end up with 30 hundredths. Same thing we had over here in the hundredths. We had 30 hundredths.
So now we're saying 4, we're going to 30. Well, I know 4 times 7 is 28, so it's going to go 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. We're going to subtract, and we have to regroup. So I end up 10 minus 8 is 2. And once again, we're going to the thousands position. So I'm going to add another 0 here, and I'm bringing it down. And 4 will go into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20 with a 0 remainder. So we have double checked between our place value and our standard algorithm. Now, in order to double check ourselves to make sure that we're doing it correctly, we're going to go ahead and multiply this out. 175 times 4 and see if we get 7 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the decimal. I have 175 times 4, and I know 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 7 is 28. 2 is 30. 4 times 1 is 4, and 3 is 7. Now, I know I took three decimals out in order to multiply this, because I would have had to multiply by 1,000, divide by 1,000 for the decimal back, which should have moved it three places, which makes it 7 tenths. So our answer checks. We ended up with the same dividend. Now, A has 7 tenths divided by 2. So we're going to go ahead and put 7 tenths divided by 2. And I'm automatically going to put my decimal up on top. Seven go, a 2 goes into 7 three times. And I'm using my DMSB, which is my divide. 3 times 2 gives me 6. This is my multiply. I'm going to subtract what I use to see what I have left, which is my subtraction. My bring down, I'm going to the thousandth, so I'm going to put a 0 in there and bring it down. Now I have 2, 10 divided by 2, which I know 2 will go in at 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. And I'm going to subtract and I have 0. Well, my remainder is now smaller than my dividend. So I know that I'm done. And I cannot bring out another zero would make any difference. So we know our answer equals 35 hundredths. If I take 35 times 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 is 7. I know I took two decimals out. I took one decimal out. Excuse me. I took two decimals out in order to multiply it. So I have to put two decimals back in, and we end up with 7 tenths. Question 3. A rope 8 and 7 tenths meters long is cut into 5 equal pieces. How long is each piece? Well, I know the rope is 8 and 7 tenths meters total, and it's cut into 5 equal pieces. And they want to know how long each piece is. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And I know the total length of this, this rope was 8.7 meters. And it says they split it up into five equal pieces. There's two, three, four, five. And it wants to know how long each one of these pieces are. So in order to solve that, I know we have 8.7 divided by 5 will give us our answer. So we're going to set up our standard algorithm. We have 8 and 7 tenths divided by 5. 5 will go into 8 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. And we had 3 remainder. We're going to bring down our 7. 5, and we got to put our decimal in the answer first. 5 will go into 37 7 times, because 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract what we use. See, we have left. We have 2. We don't have anything to bring down, so I'm going to place a zero into our problem. Now I got five. We're going to 20 four times. Four times five is 20, with a remainder of zero. So we're saying that each one of these boards is one and 74 hundredths. 
Now, if I wanted to check my work, I could do two things. I could, one, I could add all these up in repeated addition, one in 74s, one in 74 hundredths, one in 74 hundredths, one in 74 hundredths, one in 74 hundredths, and I could add all those up in repeated addition, but that would possibly give me an error because I just have too many regroups. Or I can multiply it. I know 1 and 74 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 7 is 35, and 2 is 37. 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 is 8. Now, I know I took two decimals out because we started with 1 and 7400, so I'll put two decimals back in. And you can see we have 8 and 7 tenths what we started with.